quick concept check for us on breakout trades and the appropriate order entry techniques. Now, there are as many order entry techniques um, to breakout trades as there are really traders if you go out with that. But when it comes down to order types, you need to make sure you're using the appropriate order types. Now, the step system has a disciplined set of rules for order entry techniques, but we also have some strong recommendations per se on which order types to use. Now, if you're sitting in front of the market, and you have live confirmation, you can go ahead and buy with a market order if speed is of the essence. If price that you get in at is less important than the speed of the transaction getting in right now, you'd wanna use a market order. Again, that would require you to be sitting in front of your computer at the moment the price chart breaks and gives you the confirmation you need. Now, buying with a limit order will help you control the price but a limit order doesn't necessarily require confirmation. So you'd have to also be sitting in front of your computer waiting for confirmation uh, of a breakout, you know, above resistance, um, confirmation above a candle high, what have you, above that, that uh, you know, defined price entry criteria to use a buy limit order effectively. So the most effective entry technique would be use a stop order, which would trigger at or above the specified price. And if you want to control the price you pay and avoid the potential for gaps, which happen often on breakout patterns, you wanna use a buy stop limit order. So really the best order in my opinion uh, to enter a trade on a breakout would be with a buy stop limit order, a contingency um, order would also be highly effective. So a buy stop limit would give you a trigger price, the stop price at or above the price you specify. And then a limit price, don't spend more than the, than the specified limit price. You can get the confirmation you need, but also control the price. Now a contingency order, again, some brokerage platforms offer contingency orders where you can put in a price criteria and then set additional contingency criteria um, limit offsets, you know, linking it to the last traded price, et cetera, et cetera. So some brokers, again, offer fancy contingency orders, but almost all brokers will offer you a buy stop limit order regardless. So again, as you're learning to do the breakout trades, make sure you spend time practicing the different order types. If you're sitting in front of your computer or again, you know, with in front of your tablet or phone, as you get that confirmation, you can use the buy market or buy limit orders. But more disciplined traders typically to try to avoid impulse and missing trading signals, they will pre-establish buy stop limit orders uh, rather than buy stop markets because a buy stop market is going to expose you to a little bit more risk on the entry price if it gaps up. If you were to see a fast move to the upside, a stop limit will help you control the price. And again, contingency orders allow you to control multiple criteria. So there's several examples of how to use buy stop limits here in your trading and contingency orders. And again, when it comes to those breakouts, use the uh, price criteria here inside the report. So again, as you're looking at the reports, follow along with the entry criteria. Those are, again, base guidelines. Add your own filters, your own confirmation price criteria using technique one, technique two, or technique three from the step system and get those you know triggers above you know ATR you know percentage of the ATR above the signal price or again wait for the close above the signal price then trade but again use the right order types to help you control your entry to get in at the right time and again using a buy stop limit combines the magic and the confirmation of a stop order gives you the control of a limit order and again helps you trade with confirmation on those breakouts